Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here. We are on the ground at the Cosmopolitan Hotel in lovely Las Vegas. It's about 120 degrees outside. Welcome to summer in Vegas at the uh, the Predix Transform 2016, the first ever Predix Cloud uh, Developer Conference. Predix, obviously, the industrial internet cloud that GE launched about seven months ago. 1,700 developers here for days and days and days learning about how they can develop applications and take advantage of the Predix platform. And we're really excited to have our next guest on. This was like the rage of the keynotes if you were watching Twitter earlier this morning, the thing just lit up like, who are these people? So we grab them, because that's what we do. So we're really excited to be joined by Lizzie Lee from Innovation Services, Program Manager, and her cohort in crime, Michael Williams, also from Innovation Services, Lead Engineer. So welcome to theCUBE. Thanks. Thank you. So what were you talking about that just lit up Twitter like a Christmas tree? It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're developing something that will enable both developers and uh, industrial customers alike to get connected at the edge, connect their devices, their machines, have an easy on-ramp to predict so that they can start developing applications and getting a lot of value out of the data that they're collecting. So that's a huge problem, right? Everyone always wants to know, how do I get started? How do I get started? And that's, and that's not even in a traditional industrial setting where you got a big giant factory that's been kicking out widgets for years and years and decades. Right. So you're basically offering a solution to help them get started, to help them basically connect. Is that what this is? Yeah, exactly. Okay, and then what? how does it work? What kind of flavors do you have? Explain yeah. a little bit, Michael. Yeah, so the, the Predix kits uh, kind of come in two main categories, industrial kits and developer kits. And the developer kits is really what we highlighted up on stage during the keynote. Um, it helps developers get going in under 15 minutes. How to provision a prototyping board in under 15 minutes. Um, wait, we'll wait, wait, back up to do what in 15 minutes? Provision a prototyping board in under 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Connected to their Connected, thing. Connected, Predix machines, streaming to the Predix time going series, to the, going to the, going to the cloud. cloud, visualized in, a, in our kit viewer, and so you can see data streaming in under 15 minutes. Wow. Um, so no wonder they were cheering up and down. <laughs> yeah. So, so the goal of it is, is to help developers um, make sense of the industrial internet. Okay. But these kits not only allow you to provision something in under 15 minutes, but they also are built specifically for industrial use cases. Um, so what we showed up on stage was a wind turbine. Um, and it was actually a mini wind, wind turbine, and it was uh, monitoring very similar things that you might monitor in an industrial wind turbine. So you can start making sense of what it's like to not only build for IoT, but for the industrial internet of right, things, which right. is what we really care about. Right. So are there different are there different types based on industry? I mean, obviously GE mm -hmm. plays in a lot of places, oil yeah. and gas and aviation and, and wind turbines and locomotives, or is it kind of a general purpose tool? How does it work within, you know, what are a variety of potential mm -hmm. customer environments? Yeah, we are absolutely building domain-specific or purpose-built kits. Okay. So if you are trying to instrument a gas turbine, we would have a kit specifically built for that where you would either have um, sensors that are related to that application as well as the asset model that we pull down from the cloud okay. will be pre-configured to fit your gas turbine. Okay. Um, and then a lot of the kits we're building can span actually from the non-industrial to the industrial. So um, as part of our job, we have the we get really lucky and we get to go to customer sites and see very yeah. interesting use cases. So recently we went to a vineyard where they have three small Doesn't fields. Doesn't sound very industrial to me. Right, but I'll draw the connection for you. Um, they <laughs> tastes have <good. laughs> tastes very good. They have um, three fields that okay. have very different levels of grape production because, depending on where the trees are, some fields get more shade or they get less wind, and it causes very varying levels of production. And so, to correlate the weather to the grape production, they put a weather station in each field. That same weather station is something that GE Power is looking to leverage at. Um, all of the sites that they monitor with their gas turbines because um, things like temperature, uh, humidity, and pressure affect the um, how much power output is expected from that gas turbine. So a weather kit could be one of those applications that can span both non-industrial and industrial. So, so in that case, who's, who's the customer? Is it the, the turbine folks that are trying to get more data to be more efficient, or is it the, the guy growing the grapes who's trying to be, I mean, what is he trying to do? Be more efficient in terms of his production yield? I mean, how is he using the data? But who ultimately is your customer? Who bought the kit and put the kit in? Is it the, the guy growing the grapes or is it the turbine guy? It can be both. Well, who was it in this one? <laughs> <laughs> so that's an example use case that okay. we're working towards. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah and so the, the whole 
idea of the kits in general for right. developers. It's the same user experience for a developer to provision a kit right. as it is for a service deployer in the field. Okay. Um, so if it's a service technician who goes and does it, um, or if it's a vineyard owner who purchases it online and wants to deploy it in their vineyard, they can do it as well. Um, and really what we're working towards is making that same user experience. So when a developer is building a new kit, it's built in the same exact way that the service individual is expecting to go and deploy it. So now we have repeatability and this common story from a developer all the way to production. Okay, and what and, and are these things available today? Is this GA or is it coming? What's kind of the status of the kits? We're in internal beta right now where okay. we're testing with a couple of internal GE teams. Okay. Um, and we'll be external beta coming soon. We'll have more information available in the coming months. Okay, so just go to, where do they go for more information? Predicts.io. Predicts.io, okay, great. And, and again, the interesting thing about these kits is they're not just toys, they're actually things that can go from, you know, kind of test dev, if you will, mm -hmm. get it tweaked, get it right, get it set up, and then actually just roll that, that same unit into production. Absolutely. That's correct. And, and the nice thing about Predix and what we're trying to do with Predix and Predix Edge is it's the same software stack that you might run on a prototyping board as you're going to actually run on an industrial hardened device. So once you get it good on your prototyping board, you just take that same software and you go and put it on an industrial hardened device and you're good to go. Okay, great. So a little bit of the vibe of the show here. First time ever, 1,700 people. Yeah. Wonder if you could share some of the surprises, hallway chatter for the folks that aren't here. What's the vibe of the show? And what, what have what have you been kind of surprised at so far? Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of really great excitement around what's coming out with Predix, especially since it's a relatively new platform that's been externally available. And so everybody just wants to know how can we get started, what use cases can we start building. And so it's been really cool to see all that excitement and people proactively trying to get a hold of our kits as well as all the other tools that are available. And one of the things I really enjoyed is uh, the Predix Builders community um, being launched and worked out is there's a lot of really great applications that have already been built in Predix. Um, it's only been GA for a few months and it's really cool to already see that people are contributing and building out applications right. in Predix. Well, I would, I would normally ask you what are you working on for the next six months, but I think you already answered the yeah. question. You got to get that stuff GA, right? Exactly. All we'll right. Get there. Well, congratulations, and again, uh, Lizzie, you got to get a Twitter account because everyone was, well, who is that woman up there? She's giving a great presentation, so Thank great job, so congratulations, and uh, and good luck getting the uh, getting the kids done and getting them out in the field. And let me know when you go visit that winery. I want to go with you uh, for a field trip. <laughs> we'll do. All right, Lizzie Lee and Michael Williams from Innovation Services at GE. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching the Cube. We are at Predix Transform 2016, the first one here at the Cosmo Hotel in lovely Las Vegas. Catch you next time.